Hey YouTube, it's me Morgan and I'm going to show you how to make my chicken wings today. People requested on how I made them. So I'm going to show you the ingredients I used and first I, um, these are not in any order but the sauce I use is this sauce and it's called Moore's Buffalo Wing Sauce and I also use Lowry Seasoning Salt, the garlic powder and Italian seasoning and these are like this is like 50 cents and this is like 75 or something this is like two dollars and this is two something so those are the things I use to season my food for my chicken wings and now you need the chicken wings okay so we have the chicken wings and I already seasoned them because um, I didn't know I was going to make the video and I thought of making the video as I was seasoning them but what I did to season the wings was I put um, tons of Lowry's um, seasoning salt and this is not focused I put tons of Lowry's seasoning salt on it and then I don't measure any or anything I just eyeball it I use garlic powder I use a medium amount of gar garlic powder and I also use Italian seasoning and I love this and I use so much of this. I'm going to put some more on, but I don't know. I just really love Italian seasoning. So yeah, and all I did was take this and I just shook it up. So yeah, so that's what it looks like and that's how I got these seasoned wings. And these wings are the Tyson wings found at Walmart. They're the Tyson chicken wings that come naked. Like you have to season and everything yourself. And the oil I used was pure canola oil. And this <laughs> is um, the grease. So I'm going to fry them, I guess. That's what you would call it. But I'm going to put them in here. And this is probably hot. And it's probably going to steam. So if it's loud, I'm sorry. But um, it looks a little bit dirty because I did make wings yesterday but if you reuse it again for the second time it's okay um, the seasoning the Italian seasoning got at the bottom that's why it's looking like that but to check to see if your grease is ready you know just put a little you know sprinkle water in it it makes that popping noise it is ready and I have my stove on medium I believe yeah it's a little bit dirty ignore that I have to clean it because I made chicken wings yesterday it was just popping everywhere but it's on medium this one right here so we are going to get started um clean the chicken wings in so I just do it one by one if you have tongs it's much easier but usually the first chicken wing that goes in is the loudest it's gonna pop Okay, so just put them in one by one. And as you put more wings in, like I put, I don't know how many wings are in here, but it's a lot. As you put wings in, the noise would start to simmer down. So I just let this sit in here. It is 5.50 right now. And I think I usually let them sit in for 10 minutes or usually when you have more wings in, I leave them in longer. But you just want to make sure that all the, you know, it's cooked in that. Um, the wings float to the top. I usually use a pot to cook this in, but I don't have one. So this is the biggest pan thing I have. So it's hard to tell if they float to the top a little bit. But when you have a pot, um, you can definitely tell whether they float to the top or not. So yeah, so I'm just going to let these cook for about 10 minutes and come back and see what they are looking like. Okay, so I took the 
chicken wings out of the stove pan thing and I put them in a napkin and the napkin is so you can absorb all the grease that's in the chicken or on it so I had two napkins and all I'm gonna do is now that it, it's it is absorbed you see all this grease yeah nasty um, this is what they're looking like let me focus so you can get a great view of these beautiful chicken wings okay so that's what they're looking like and I don't like my extra crunchy and I don't like it really really soft now I'm gonna use this Moore's buffalo sauce that I love like this is the best freaking buffalo sauce it's so good I'm going to pour the buffalo sauce on the chicken wings and the amount you pour depends on how much sauce you want um, I'm really not a big fan of spicy food so I could not like just take my finger and dip it in that sauce and eat it by itself because it's kind of spicy but when they're on the chicken wings it's fine so I just take the lid and I'm going to shake it up and those are what the wings look like and I'm just going to take some and put them on my plate and have a feast of wings I want that one okay and the rest I'm just going to store in the refrigerator okay so these are the wings and all that's missing is some ranch and I really like the buttermilk ranch but they ran out so I'm just going to put some ranch on my plate and that is it and that's how I make my buffalo chicken wings I guess they are so good everyone who tried my wings absolutely loves them and they really really think they're yummy and everything and I think they're great too so that's how I make them and I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or comments let me know bye